geometry mnemonic angles. Mnemonic is simply a memory aid to help us remember information fast and for a long period of time, if not forever. It can be an acrostic, a name mnemonic, or a music mnemonic. Let's make mnemonics out of this topic, angles. Sometimes teachers require students to define angles or ask questions like, how are angles formed? You can answer the question using the word angles itself. Angles are formed by two non-collinear rays giving us an L-like figure whose endpoint is the vertex and the sides are each of the rays. Angles. Angles are classified according to their measure. If angle N is an acute angle, then the measure of angle N is less than 90. For example, angle GNE is an acute angle because the measure of angle GNE is less than 90 degrees. If angle N is a right angle, then the measure of angle N is 90 degrees. Example, angle GNE is a right angle because the measure of angle GNE is equal to 90 degrees. If angle N is an obtuse angle, then the measure of angle N is greater than 90 degrees. For example, angle GNE is an obtuse angle because the measure of angle GNE is greater than 90 degrees. The measure of angle GNE is equal to 170 degrees. The measures of two angles can be added and we have special names for two of the sums. If angle A and angle O are supplementary angles, then the measure of angle A and the measure of angle O is equal to 180 degrees. Angle VAL and angle ROA are supplementary angles because the measure of angle VAL plus the measure of angle ROA is equal to 180 degrees. If angle A and angle O are complementary angles, then the measure of angle A and the measure of angle O is equal to 90 degrees. Example, angle VAL and angle ROA are complementary angles. Because the measure of angle VAL plus the measure of angle ROA is equal to 90 degrees. Two intersecting lines form angles and they also have names, adjacent angles, vertical angles, and linear pair. Let's start with adjacent angles. Angle LNA and angle ANG are adjacent angles. They have a common vertex and they have a common side. Adjacent angles have common vertex and common side. These are also adjacent angles. Next is vertical angles. Angle LNA and angle GNE are vertical angles. Also angle ANG and angle ENL are vertical angles. Vertical angles are not adjacent. They are actually opposite angles and they are always congruent, meaning angle LNA is congruent to angle GNE and angle ANG is congruent to angle ENL. The third is the linear pair. Angle ANG and 
Engel G N E R linear pair. Engel A N G and Engel G N E are adjacent and they are also supplementary, meaning the measure of angle A and G plus the measure of angle G and E is equal to 180. We already have eight terms. It's time for us to make a mnemonic. This time, a name mnemonic. All we have to do is to list all the terms, then write the first or the first two letters of the terms then rearrange to form a name possible female names are and for the boys my name mnemonic is Val Roa V stands for vertical angles, A for adjacent angles, L for linear pair, R for right angle, O for obtuse angle, and A for acute angle. I like this name because it classifies the angles into two according to measure, Roa, and according to position, Val. But where do supplementary angles and complementary angles fit? I will use it as the middle name. Now, he is Val Soko Roa. V stands for vertical angles. A for adjacent angles. L for linear pair. SU for supplementary angles, CO for complementary angles, R for right angles, O for obtuse angles, and A for acute angles. Let's end up with a definition of an angle using um, music. Mnemonic. An angle is formed by two non collinear rays that have come on in point. The end point is the vertex, and each ray is the side of the angle.